guys, it's Searden, and today we're doing a review of the Nerf Vortex Proton. So the Proton was released in 2011, and it was the smallest blaster in the Vortex series, and it was basically a single shot because it only has one capacity. So since the Proton is a Vortex blaster, it fires Vortex discs, which are just kind of like a mini frisbee. They kind of float through the air, and they stay level, and they're pretty cool. So like all Vortex Blasters, it has quite a few locks, which means you can't pull the trigger unless there's a disc in. And to fire the Proton, you just pull back on this, kind of like a Night Finder, and then you can put your disc in like that, and then there's a little flap on both sides, which you push down, which pushes the disc into the blaster, and then you pull the trigger, and then you fire your disc. So one important thing you need to know about the Proton is that if it does jam, which sometimes happens, there's a nice jam release button on the back of the slide and you just push it down and your disc will fall out. So the Proton does have a few tactics because it still is a nerf blaster. So we've got a tactical rail on top as well as a sling attachment point here and you could kind of use that as a sling attachment point but I wouldn't recommend it. And other than that it doesn't really have anything else going on with it. and. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any disc storage, which is kind of a shame. So that's the end of the overview of the Proton. Now moving on to the range test. Hey guys, it's Tom, and today we're here at the range to range test, the Nerf Vortex Proton. So we're just going to be using its stock Vortex discs to the moon. Can't really fire anything else. Anyways, starting off with flat shots, let's go. Okay, now angled shots. The discs fly really nice. Pretty cool. Okay, that's it for shooting the discs. Now let's check the ranges. Okay, so our first disc here is about 55 feet. Next one at about 57 feet, one at about 60 feet, one at 63 feet, and the last two are at about 64 feet. Okay, that's it for our range test. Now on to the conclusion. So overall, the Proton is a really good blaster in the Vortex line because, I mean, it shoots pretty far. And keep in mind, this was before Elite Blasters came out, so that was pretty impressive ranges. And it also shoots the discs, which are pretty cool because they kind of float. And one thing that's important to note about the disc is that while they do go pretty far, they're sort of slightly slower than actual darts, so it's going to be easier to dodge them, but they do go pretty far. So the Proton overall is a really good blaster. It doesn't really have too many issues with it. I mean, it fires consistently. It also hits pretty hard for a Vortex blaster, and I think it's one of the best ones you can pick up. And they're also reasonably priced at thrift stores. I mean, depending on which one you go to, of course, but... And they're also fairly common, so I think if you do find one, you should definitely pick one up. And, I mean, the only problem you'll have is getting ammo, because Vortex ammo is sort of hard to come by now that it's discontinued, but it's just a really fun blaster to use. Same with all the other Vortex blasters, but I really like the Vortex ones in general just because they're just really fun. So the Proton does have several different color schemes, so there's the typical green one we have here. There's also a Sonic version, which is just transparent green, and then there's a re-release, which is sort of hard to find, and it's actually white and blue, and I think it came with special colored discs, but I don't know, they're pretty hard to find, so if you do find one of those, you're in luck. So that's the end of our review of the Nerf Vortex Proton. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.